Hello, welcome to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. Uh, today in Cubase, I'm going to show you how to set up a template. Initially, I'm going to show you a template that I've roughly created uh, just to give you an idea of, of what I have. Um, you know you may not use anything like this at all but the idea is to show you how to save time so when you open up Cubase you can be productive straight off the bat so initially I'll just play you a little, little sample so as you can hear there it's just basic drums and a, a lead sort of bass, bass sound nothing more than that um, the beauty of this though is all my side chains my effects um, my group channels are all up and running and ready to go all my hardware is connect connected um, so initially as per usual side chain kick um, I have that routed to no bus I'll just bring my mixer in there as you can see to no bus and on the effects there you can see I've actually got it going to four side chains in in this uh, this instance. Uh, the reason I do that is, for instance, I may not want the pad to be side chained as much as the bass, or vice versa. I might want the bass just lightly side chained, and the pad really suck in to give it some form of energy. Um, so let's just bring the connections window in. As you can see, in my instance, I have four side chains going. A drum group, a percussion group, uh, delays, reverbs, short delays, short reverb, reverb gate, and uh, parallel compression channel. Um, I also have all my hardware wired, um, routed in straight away. As you can see here, I've got um, four stereo pairs coming in from the hardware and mixer. So anything that I want to record from an external source, be it my virus or Blofeld, um, that's straight in, recorded straight into Cubase. Uh, again, makes life easier, so I don't have to be spending time routing things, connecting things. Um, all my sims are, are, are there, um, ready to go. Just hit record, and that's it. Here, you can see I've just used MIDI initially to get started. Uh, the reason I do this is I've spent loads of time creating banks in both battery and contact of drums, hats, claps, snares, kicks, found sounds, you know, all, all sorts of things that I've been collecting over the years. Um, and the beauty of, of this way of, of doing things is I can just in instantly got thousands of sounds at my fingertips as opposed to As opposed to trawling through sample CDs, etc. All really little closed hats and open hats. And a few percussiony bits in there as well. This just allows me to get a nice drum groove down and ready to go quickly and easily. Um, I may swap out some of the sounds, I may bounce them down as audio, put more effects on. But the idea is, as soon as Cubase is open, I've got something to go at, um, and I can be off. You know, then all it takes is maybe, you know, finding a nice bass sound, and that's it. You know, I'm instantly inspired and I, and I can get on. Um, you don't have to do this, uh, I just find this useful. Some people like to start with a complete blank canvas, that way they're not sort of driven to go down a certain avenue. Me personally, I find this a very useful tool, and I've also got the option of starting with a blank canvas if if that's that's what I want. Um, so I pretty much think that about covers it. Um, the only thing I, I would suggest, um, obviously, if you wanted to save as a template, once once you've started adding all these things, uh, would be to go to File, Save as Template, give it a name. That way, every time when you open Cubase you can open that template and off you go so I hope you found this uh, a little bit informative and you know if for any reason you have any questions then please contact us uh, via the YouTube or Facebook or Twitter um, 
so that's about it so until next time uh, where we will start with a, a blank canvas and we'll build a, a basic template to get you started until then and D S L